Hello, it's George the Fragrance Apprentice, and I hear that you're frightened of niche fragrances. There is actually a, um, a, a, a syn- there's actually a term called uh, too much money frag phobia, which is a real thing which I totally didn't just make up about five seconds ago. And it is the fear of spending too much money on fragrances, and I completely understand we've all been there. But today I'm going to be giving you my opinion on what to sort of invest in. These are fragrances that I genuinely feel are worth the price. There are many fragrances many niche fragrances that are not worth the price at all. Um, I don't know what on earth I could be talking about. It could be very, you know, could be anything really. Um, there are some fragrance houses that truly are just sort of like taking the piss with their, uh, with their prices these days. Again, who knows what on earth I could be talking about, which brands uh, I could be discussing or sort of, well, sort of hinting at, really. We'll, we'll, we'll never know. Anyway, let's get to it with Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. I still think that this is worth the price tag. It's worth the high price tag. You see uh, attempts at cloning this. You see attempts at sort of duplicating this quality. There's not really anything that has been able to. Dua has tried, I think maybe once or twice. It never works out. Alexandria, I don't know about them. No, Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford is still one of the greatest, one of the most unique, one of the most interesting fragrances of all time. I'll give you a warning though. I bought this many years ago. And when I first sprayed it on, I remember thinking, huh, that's kind of weaker than I remember it being. And then I went to Chris's house to shoot a couple of videos um, and I smelled his version, his little decant of tobacco vanilla was like, oh my God, that smells a lot stronger. Um, maybe there's been reformulation. Anyway, cut to this year and it smells fantastic. It smells kind of just how it should be. I think that this bottle hadn't maturated or whatever the terminology is yet. So be wary of that. But yeah, this is, I put this on now, beast mode. Projection longevity is huge, smells so good, smells so Christmassy, and it is worth the price tag, it still has that quality. I think this is it now. I think that this is the last Creed that is actually worth the high price tag. Even, even Melissim Imperial, you know, which is, it's, it's it's my it's mine you know i'm still having I'm, I'm having trouble looking at those prices and bottle of Melissa imperial that i have right now it's not the same Melissa imperial that i have the huge connection with let me just put it this way if the Melissa imperial of today was the Melissa imperial that i first smelt i would not be ending my channel with that review but luckily I do have a 2016 bottle of Millicent Imperial stashed away, and that will be my last video. I will not be reviewing Millicent Imperial of right now. I, uh, and I do still like Millicent Imperial of right now. It's no one, it's not the masterpiece, it's not the amazing thing of, of what it was. I will be reviewing that fragrance as my last ever video. And just a couple of things I want to say. It will be my last ever video. I won't become the fragrance master. I won't trick you. I won't do a Shawn Michaels in Saudi Arabia. I won't go back on my promise. That will be my final video. But to get to the point, I honestly genuinely think right now that Royal Oud is the last great creed that is worth the hefty price tag. So we move on to this. This is Roger Dove's Enigma Parfum Cologne. Wonderful. Just wonderful. I finally have realized what this smells like. I've been wanting to sort of paint a picture for you, but I finally know. This smells like you're drinking an icy cool, not Coca-Cola, Curiosity Cola, the proper thing, proper Curiosity Cola in a baking hot sauna. Because in a sauna, you've got that that heat from the coal, but the, the charcoal, should I say, but it's the, it's the woods. You're smelling the heat of the humid woods. And, and with the benzoin note in this, that's what it smells like. It smells like the woods, the white woods from a humid sauna whilst you're drinking a delicious Coca-Cola. And yet that's so ridiculous, but that's what it smells like. And it smells very rich and very wealthy. The quality in this. I was also gonna include Burlington um, 1819, but that bottle is not with me. But yes, Burlington 1819 is well worth the price. Well worth the freaking price. The quality 
the craftsmanship, the technical excellence. Roger Dove is absolutely killing it. This is worth that price tag. I'm not a big fan of the original uh, Enigma Parfum, but the Parfum Cologne. It's kind of like, you know, when you have whiskey, like a really solid whiskey. Um, one of the things that you can do is you can just put a little bit of water in the whiskey, not an ice cube. If you do that in Scotland, you will be killed. You will be shot. Definitely not Coca-Cola. You will be shot. I will call the police. I swear to God. But if you put a little bit of water in the whiskey, it sort of it sort of livens up the taste and it spreads everything out. That's to me what they did with this. You've got the original Rosier uh, Enigma Parfum, but this is just putting a little bit of water and um, making the the flavor and the smell just a little bit more spacious next one okay sm cafe by strangers it's not even that expensive really and it's well worth the price so good in general strangers very very well priced niche fragrance i wish the other niche houses would take note only a 30 ml that you get but it's enough with sm cafe you the performance is fantastic so that will work really really well boozy coffee with some beeswax with some honey with some uh, bit oriental fantastic fragrance worth full retail. Next one, this is not really talked about anymore. This used to have a bit of a cult following. Vanilla Flash by Towerville. Reasonably priced, super reasonably priced is this. Uh, again, little 30 milliliters, similar to Strangers. This is very unusual, very interesting. And if you like, um, or you've ever heard of Le, Le Air de Desert Marocain by Andy Tau, it's the same guy, it's Towerville. And this is Le Air de Desert Marocain, but like stripped for function, stripped for a sort of a wearability in a way. And it's great. Really sandy vanilla fragrance, similar in a way to Memoirs of a Trespasser, even more sandpapery. Really unique stuff for the autumn and winter. It actually kind of smells a bit like a wood shop, sanding wood or, or, or carving wood or anything like that, so that might put a few people off, but it's it's well worth the price. Next one, My Good Friend, Kisses Rain by Rainier. This is so luscious and wonderful, so great, magical, still love it, and the price point is divine. Price point is absolutely divine. This is a niche that is worth every penny. Hasn't been reformulated. In fact, they reformulated it uh, a couple of years ago to make the oil concentration higher. This is actually a fragrance that's been reformulated to the, for the better. This is kind of like Federalish use, but you take away the vanilla and the praline and you instead do almond. Sweeten it up, floral it up. It's amazing. I did a review of it back when I was like, I don't know, 24, 25, and uh, that was a crazy review. You can go and watch it there, get my full thoughts. Next one, this one. If you're a patchouli lover, Calling all patchouli lovers, Misfit by Arquiast. Wonderful, powdery, citrus, patchouli. If you loved Linstant de Guerlain Eau Extreme, such as myself, then this is something that you should definitely try out. Old school patchouli scent, 160 pounds on bloom, worth every penny, especially for 100 milliliter. This also lasts a very decent amount of time and the quality in that patchouli oil is so, so damn high. Love it, been wearing this quite a lot over autumn. So wonderful, warms you up. This is the fragrance to wear when you're going out and you're wrapping up with a scarf and um, you know, big long coat. That is this fragrance. I would also really, really highly recommend female viewers of my channel, all uh, three of you, to uh, check this out because I just can see this on a woman uh, in this awesome season. Beautiful. Next one, Behold Patchouli, yes. Terry's Chocolate Orange. With a great strong patchouli notes, this is that harsh patchouli uh, rather than misfit, which is that more powdery take on patchouli. Kind of harsh patchouli with Terry's Chocolate Orange and Musk Ravageur by Frederick Mull. This is exquisite. This is great. Daniel Gallagher is a very, very small operation. It's essentially just him and some, some co-workers, some friends uh, making fragrances. This is as niche as it gets, really. Great chocolatey orange patchouli fragrance so so unique so interesting so different yes please buy full you can't really buy anything else it's not exactly on discounts as is daniel gallagher but yes you should buy his fragrances wholesale and now we come to two of the more expensive ones on this list i don't need to even go into this motif olfactifs monoasis this this is why I'm still the Fragrance Apprentice. I'll just tell you that right now. This is, it's stuff like this that, that keeps me going, that keeps me believing, that keeps the magic in this hobby. Amazing. Oriental garden of a fragrance, very oily. You have so many different plants and flowers. It's a hot, hot as hell, sunny, humid day. In somewhere like Tuscany, 
super hot day super hot florals so you've got these florals you've got the garden you've got all these different beautiful plants there's some spices there's somebody cooking in the background and they're cooking like an indian spicy food and you so you get wafts of that and so you're getting a little bit of that and you're getting the florals and you're staring at this giant oval of lavender there's just a huge section of lavender and that's hitting you that is this this is art it's the highest form of fragrance art and it is absolutely worth every single penny i think it's actually an underestimate i actually think it's slightly undervalued it's great it just phenomenal very very talented guy is mr oz and finally this this is worth the money good satin mood francis kurjan so fucking good that oud and that vanilla I've had this, uh, the big thing that absolutely solidifies the evaluation of this niche fragrance. Look how much I've used. Doesn't look like too much. I've had it for six years and I've barely touched it. I only have to put on two to three sprays and that's it. I'm not nervous about running out of this. It will take me probably another five, maybe 10 years to run out of that. And I paid a lot of money for it, but I'm getting 15 years of great fragrance. Fantastic evaluation, worth every penny. Those were 10 niche fragrances, expensive fragrances, that I genuinely believe are actually worth every penny. Truly, truly great fragrances. Like I said, there's so many fragrances in the niche world right now that just aren't worth it. And I forbid you to buy them. But these 10, in my opinion, are. Anyway, I'm the Fragrance Price. Hope that you got something out of this. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will speak to you later. Bye.